Good morning, everyone. This is Evelyn, and I have, I have two pretty quick twin flame reads for you. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. of love and blessings out to you guys. Okay, so here's the two reads. This is from, I did one um, the night before last and then one yesterday. My daughter's home, so I've been playing with her a little bit. Um, and this is the complete read for that one. Okay, and then the one in front of you did yesterday and they're they're for today and tomorrow and then here's the complete read in front of you okay so the first read for those of you not familiar with my reads it is a seven deck read so it's a lot of energy on the table if something doesn't resonate with you don't force it to fit um, if you want something more specific for you, all my information is below as well as on my website, TwinFlames3344.com. I have a CD out there called Ashes, Twin, T Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe if you want to check it out. It's only a dollar for a song. And thank you all for joining me. And if you like the information that I'm bringing to you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you get unsubscribed by YouTube, just go ahead and resubscribe again. I don't know why they're dropping people. Um, yeah. So I cut this first read at 345 to 46. And, um, at 356, I was getting IVE of chalices. Which can have to do with, um, a stream of changes of being emotional the ive which references the the flash of light the inspiration and i completed this read at four kind of eight nine ten and eight being strength, nine is the hermit, ten is the wheel of fortune, and four is the emperor. The major arcana here were hanging man and chariot. And before the read, abundance came up, which is the empress in this deck, the Syrian Starcy deck. We had one sword, two wands, five pentacles, and one cup. So a lot of pentacles, not only about money, but just time, money, and effort of day-to-day -day life. And there were no court cards in the main part of the read. But the Page of Wands and Queen of Wands came up before the read, and the Knight of Cups came up after the read. Now get this, we had triple ones, triple fives, and triple eights in this read. Triple ones, triple fives, and triple eights. So the ones you know are all about new beginnings and being self-oriented. The five about the change, and the eight about the dance of the twins and coming together. The uh, code line was all about love and spiritual partnership. And the numbers on the code line were 5, 6, 18, and 1 becoming 30, which is the Four of Wands, the union energy, and regarding love and spiritual partnership. And the other numbers that came up here were 1251, which is the Hangman and the King of Swords, the 15 of the Devil, 58 of the Four of Swords, uh, 12 of the Hangman, 23 of the King of Wands, 34 of the Eight of Wands, 45 of the Five of Cups, and 58 the Four of Swords, 810, which is zero behind 81, the end of karma around the world. So to see the code line was all about love and spiritual partnerships. And again, Sophia coming up again. To see the Sophia, the icy bridge, left. We were getting five, five left and six right, right? So there's an imbalance there only five on the left and six on the right, um, acing work or alignment with a new life shaman, perhaps. Um, let's 
saying to bridge left, here font, which is also the five of freedom and change and expansion, left for the feminine, and then the lovers or the six is right for the masculine. One working on a new life or an offer to, to a shaman or someone who's crazy or outrageous or over-enthusiastic or perhaps tipsy. Um, to see, see, or cease, so see with your eyes, see with your emotions, the ocean, or see with the capital C, which for me is the unity consciousness, the Christ consciousness, but also to cease and ignore was coming up, which is a cease and desist, five one way, six the other, but one working, one Christ-like or re-shaman. To see the Sophia, icy knowing, right? That ice energy, which having to do with the feminine energy, right? As far as cold and hot, but also the icing people out, you know, being cold, icing in your knowing or 19, the sun being off balance, right? Here we have the sun and the ice right? The frozen and the hot and the balance between them, the eight working or Christ-like and one crystal shaman or being Christ-like. And I'm getting, um, you know, six of one, half dozen of the other. It's all in your perspective. And remember when it's just one off, it's really not that much off balance because nothing is ever perfectly in balance all the time. At 444, which is very angelic realms energy, we had the Ace of Swords reversed in the underlying energy, and then beneath that, the Page of Wands reversed, the Four of Swords upright, the Queen of Wands upright, Abundance upright, and the Eight of Swords reversed. In a split, a divide, or a lie, after the Page of Wands is frustrated, perhaps resting on break, or meditating in the 5D with the Queen of Wands upright, abundant, and released in a split, or lied to get out. The Hermit reversed, the Queen of the King of Wands choosing a new path with the Empress working to align, perhaps doing detail work or paperwork, detoxing chaos, implementing a plan, resisting sudden changes, or after a sudden event, with the Sun reversed and the Moon reversed, drained all day and night in an imbalanced relationship, inequity, debt, scam, not sharing, secrets and the High Priestess or psychic abilities. And the twin path or goal was not to die when said until death do us part. The high priestess, olive head, Viking princess, salt and pepper, an Indian or, or shaman or a dark past. There could be shame here about a dark past as well. A Viking hook in third eye or wanting to hook onto that train in the never-ending story of death becomes her, or near-death experience, or dead tired, or just living a lie. The Page of Swords spreading the word to the King of Cups upright, Pisces and Cancer, or a message about traveling around the world. With unrequited love and forgiving and learning, the bull and lion unable to get those piggy toes. The King of Cups about to dip their toe in the water with the Divine Feminine ascending or testing emotional waters with Pisces and Cancer. Three of Wands present to the flame and romantic tie. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is stubborn or resistance to eating healthy, perhaps. The King of Swords upright is being watched, holding their tongue with kids and not cracking the whip. With the Knight of Cups reversed or being told to go easy on them, three knights down here, perhaps the Knight of Wands has it made. Because the Knight of Wands is the only one upright. Jealousy and refusal to budge or the King of Swords with three on strike and three strikes and you're out. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And the Knights or Page of Cups and Swords putting their butts where they don't belong and the King of Swords holding his tongue, but for how long? So this is about the, not a page, but the Knights, the Knight of Pentacles, Cups and Swords were all reversed together here putting their butts where they don't belong, and the King of Swords holding his tongue, but for how long? Self-discipline comes up, number 41, which is the Ace of, of Cups, and beneath that self-love of 61, taking a risk. The imbalance in the downturn, detoxing chaos, 
as the fool is free, but impatient with death and end, dark night or transition of the king of wands reversed moving, visiting or visitation or an end of a marriage and the party's over. At the new moon, there was a celebration or up before dawn to come together or deception with a group hung out to dry, the crab pretending to be a lobster and two howling dogs or their dogs are out or party canceled for a smaller one, not telling and the bunnies are left out or all or out all night partying, Aries upright, Sag reversed, Scorpio upright and Cancer reversed or Pisces and the King of Wands reversed came home to find the kids partying and is pissed at 511, which is the Hierophant and Justice. Celebrating a split or getting away with a lie after death or near death or just dead tired and driving the Knight of Cups reversed or Scorpio reversed and Cancer upright with the Knight of Cups reversed with no self-discipline, needing detox or perhaps to go to rehab. Or after death, the King of Wands is sick and tired and chose a new path. Perhaps water signs going on the road with the King of Wands or the King of Cups and the King of Swords is stuck with the riffraff perhaps or dividing up between Taurus upright and Taurus reversed, Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer, water signs in need of self-discipline ap after self-love. Conflict and trapped in, in the past here before the underlying energies and then going forward after the read is conflict and seeing synchronicities and released by the Knight of Wands, awakened to Atlas, the way to the world, the burden, receiving big love from the guilty party or shame associated with it and satisfied and present with kids, soulmates or twins. In the recent past is the Six of Pentacles reversed and not sharing with the sovereigns, unhappy family, uncomfortable resisting sudden changes or uncomfortableness with sovereign upright and the knight of pentacles reversed and the page of pentacles upright, they, those can definitely be three siblings, the sovereign being the oldest and then the knight of pentacles reversed and the page of pentacles upright, offering to help a Leo or to help with the pets, home with the worst over with issues at work embarrassing self or fell on their face or from grace or resisting or taking a break things just being unfair kids just sharing responsibilities with pets or helping to care for parents the foundation here is the eight of wands upright an energetic exchange the star holding on or holding on to your dreams or dreaming and saving to divorce and recover home or get justice in getting back home or back and forth between Aquarius and Libra, or Aquarius hoarding, and Libra able to get back into the house. The central energy is the Ace of Wands upright, the passion ignited, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family, business, or community dysfunction, or loss, and the burden being on leave or on break, and or in 5D connection with the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles, and Leo at home, perhaps in the way. The challenge being the Eight of Pentacles, working the Queen of Swords upright, driving the King of Pentacles, facing the Queen of Swords or his own fears, or the Queen of Swords is insecure without the tools to deal with synchronicities or options to choose from, and the Hermits alone with light on their work, third party presently pulling in information, and the Hermits reversed, or King of Wands with Taurus in his chart, with divine feminine in the 5D world or with Pisces lover and lovers or Gemini or hermit or Virgo receiving new passion from star dreams or Aquarius in energetic exchange with the one who's keeping to themselves in disconnect or at a distance and impatient and about a divorce perhaps or divorce with Sag and Taurus both reversed under the radar or feeling of failure. Now in the present moment crowning here is the three of pentacles reversed with issues at work defending self to the wounded warrior in connection dumping multiple loads and fireworks on their back to come together in joy or for a party for kids or a page of cups or a message of love the worst is over of neediness and jealousy or the six of wands and knight of cups both reversed being offered big love from one who's over it and refusing to divulge information in a split or about a lie and the queen of wands over being nostalgic with the man with two lovers and dream connection 
and lies or issues at work with the emperor and the king of swords and the queen of cups reversed with the queen of, with the king of wands silencing them in disconnect not seeing eye to eye or at a distance not being able to see face to face without peace for either of them lovers bliss in deception and embarrassment and fell for it the what's coming up soon is the hanging man awake to synchronicities or the queen of swords speaking about after death near death or dead tired and the never-ending story of scorpio reversed and sag reversed implementing a plan strategizing to offer money for sex or for passion project or happy man in separation the world complete cycle done or divine feminine or pisces emotionally unfulfilled or family cycle is over and twin flames seeing themselves as the chariot in a bold move to get to know each other it is safe to love and make an effort come up as the knight of wands is rushing back out of energetic exchange and expression of feelings or lots of back and forth with the knight of swords reversed ending the conflict with the queen of wands and the six of cups kids or soulmates around the twin flames is the page of pentacles reversed the hermit coming out of the cave after performance uninspired or coming out to play with the page of wands reversed who's bored and wanting to go out or be released from time served the block for the twins is the ace of pentacles new life um, the block is about the ace of pentacles someone might think that offering a new life means offering sex for money or someone um, being happy uh, expected to be happy but heartbroken all the time it's like expectations in that new life like having doubts about what will happen and being um, controlled in a relationship and just being a kind of a naysayer about what that new life might mean for you love comes up here in spiritual partnership but even more so personal growth with the king of pentacles superhero in the splitting of the bulls driving to check up on someone who's over it needing sunshine and keeping to themselves suffering in silence in the awakening over the loss regret and no peace and disconnect or at a distance losing patience and breaking from a religion establishment marriage or taurus under the radar or feeling a failure as the twin flame lovers in bliss are deceived by the fool or cancer and aries both reversed or leo and capricorn both reversed or sag and Taurus both reversed. There are three different scenarios there of couples of dark to light to end the conflict of third party or negative group jealousies in a final judgment, announcement, or wake up call, or Aquarius. Moving into Pisces now, as the page of the page of wands reversed, sleeping with the Queen of Wands upright at the Empress's house, perhaps, they could be staying with Grandma, released from a split or a lie in energetic exchange and a bold move or cancer to recover from exile not sharing a big passion and challenged by work awakening to a new life as third party at work in exile so over it as the twin flame burden to end the battle with third party or negative influences social distancing and the knight of cups reverse jealousies rejection moodiness and insincerity in a divide in an imbalanced group of energetic exchange with a passion ignited and third party through work or conflict ensued at the workplace perhaps over that and the challenge being getting work done the chariot being the driving force to ideas to recover and offer money a payoff and or a new life to get over it the twin flames out of the dungeon to end the conflict with the three of cups reversed and the knight of cups reversed And that was yeah and that was the end of that read okay that's the first read so the second read from yesterday was done at 337 the Syrian starseed deck was cut and dealt and that's now the read in front of you at 3 and 337 is the Empress and the King of Cups then at 346, which is the Empress and the Six of Cups, the children in the garden, E-Tower came up. But regarding the actual Tower card, usually the E-Tower is the Seven of Pentacles. 
So here the E tower is now the tower, the actual tower at the end of this read. I completed this read at 358, which is the Empress and the Four of Swords. The major arcana being Shadow, Transition, which is the Death card, Alchemy, the Temperance card, Reflection, which is the Hermit, Abundance, which is the Empress, Lovers, and then Tower. And after the read, Reason, or the Emperor, came up. We had one sword, three pentacles, and that was it. So the number 13 and transition of the death card is the center card in this read. So 13 or transition, transformation, endings, dark night of the soul, they're all coming up as the major energy here. With the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, the couple and the ten of pentacles family in the read, we had 22, which is the fool, 66 of the queen of pentacles, and 10 of the wheel of fortune in a turn for the better. Um, as far as numbers, the code line was all about environment and adventure and the number six of the lovers. And we also had 24 of the Queen of Wands, um, 56 of the Two of Swords, 67 of the Knight of Pentacles, and then 610 and 710. So 61 and 71 being the risk card, the inherent risk or t liar, cheater, thief card, but also the 71 of the Three of Pentacles, which has to do with the co-creation or the workplace. So the code line about environment and adventure and all about the number six was coming up around a moth, perhaps, regarding the high vibration trill of peaceful travels, the moth to the flame. I was just getting conduit instead of candidate, the candidate for matriculation, to use your imagination. Perhaps a mother is threatening someone with raw red roots or safety and security, moving to peace in calmer waters with the color light blue or perhaps assistance as I am transformed. Uh, Mother Mary may be coming up and or Imana God toggling left regarding the tra trace, tracing transition, the season, a time, as we go into spring, by the way, which is the beginning of the year, to respect or be respectful, to worship and hail to go in place, I am that I am. Perhaps someone's thinking of retiring or passing or passing away. The month of March comes up here. Perhaps some retrospective or retrograde motion, moving to peaceful waters with a woman misunderstanding or someone departs. Um, adenosine um, triphosphate comes up, which is ATP regarding how we take food and and put it into action, right? To transform it into energy. The lymph system or lymph tissues, the glandular sine wave, a three set or three shield, which I am and when I say the three shield, I'm also getting the the family crest type energy of dismissive contempt or fate, so to speak. The lymph sign of three salts or salty soups or esters in a fate to toggle left to the divine feminine or just to keep in that really high vibration and toggling up. But it's about more toggling uh, horizontally on the horizontal plane as opposed to the up and down plane. The mother, the hero, finding peace in killing, aborting, murder, slaughter, and affection, infection regarding the father, elder, brother, or both, or between peace and murder, which then again would be the polarities, or assistance of such, assisted death or assisted suicide may be coming up here. March to the nth degree to retry peaceful movement using your imagination, the color of light blue, which would reference the throat chakra, the help and aid in environment and or adventure was coming up here. Now this read, this second read was beautiful. We have the lovers here in the environment, right over here. And um, we had the king and queen of pentacles with the ten of pentacles all clumped right here with the tower at the end. And the middle of the, of the read is about transition, the death card. So big changes here. There's a lot of major arcana in the body of the read. We have the shadow and the underlying energy. And then the empress is reversed in the present moment and challenged by that need for peace. 
So we start here with the shadow upright, and the time was th four, five, six. Pick up sticks, but also the 45D and 6D. So moving out of the third into the four, five, six. Be beneath the shadow was the King of Wands reversed, the Two of Swords reversed, the Queen of Swords reversed, and the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords both upright. The shadow, this can be addictions and codependencies or Capricorn. After the King of Wands reversed, with new information or clarity about the Queen of Swords reversed, sharing or being charitable with the Page of Swords upright, or sharing a message or settling out with the Shadow, codependencies or addictions, perhaps the Web or Capricorn, home traveling with kids or just out and about, Leo or in the sun, shine, starting over, no longer bored or feeling trapped with the Queen of Wands upright, or anxiety about the Queen of Wands ignoring them. The Capricorns at home with Cancer and Leo no longer trapped with the Queen of Wands, distracted now. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, distracting the Queen of Wands so that Libra can drive or travel or move, or Libra upright and Aquarius reversed, depressed and feeling guilt and shame, and ask and taking from a home or union and or leaving home of the King of Wands reversed, who may be suffering in silence trying to end the nightmare, perhaps had a nightmare last night, or stressed out trying to end the pain with shadow work or codependencies. Or the Queen of Wands is looking back at stubbornness and frustration, destined to move, travel, or ascend, past depression and guilt and shame, perhaps a stable home with the King of Wands reversed, suffering in silence or trying to end the nightmare, or straying outside or staying outside so that the King of Wands reverse can try to get some rest without noise or without kids wanting something from him. Or the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Wands upright getting schooled on the road, depressed and guilt-ridden at home, and the King of Wands reversed suffering in silence with codependencies here. And that could just be hanging out with dependent people as well, like their kids. Or the King of Wands reversed with depressed Queen of Swords reversed, who definitely can be an Aquarius, and the Queen of Wands upright is with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So maybe one each is taking a child or a person who needs attention. Uh, Capricorn and Cancer and Leo Libra all upright, and then Aquarius reversed here. Out sharing, spending, or settling out. Libra keeping the goose in check, not working out with Taurus or in marriage, religion, or establishment or keeping kids or talkers quiet while overworking at home or at home, a conference or church online, or homeschooling is not working out between Libra and Taurus upright, kids hitting the books like little angels while one needs special attention, perhaps dyslexia coming up, and that came up in a movie I just watched where the kid was being totally abused by the school and the family because they were dyslexic, and instead of the child expressing the dyslexia to them instead they acted up like they were just the bad kid to deflect from them feeling like they were stupid right or there was something wrong with them so nobody would see that there was something wrong with them they just acted like the bad kid and they weren't they were just really insecure and couldn't learn and nobody was seeing why it was very abusive for the child and when they finally got sent away which was awful for the child it was traumatic he met a teacher who actually was someone who was dyslexic when they were young and totally transformed his whole life. So there's definitely an energy around that kind of attention for certain children that need it instead of thinking that they're the oddball or they're the stupid one or there's something wrong with them. Having an adult who actually sees that has nothing to do with their intelligence, it has to do with some kind of dysfunction that, that can be helped or... Um, just need a different way of teaching to learn. So mis the misunderstood child needing someone willing to take the time, this teacher in the movie was willing to put in overtime to just spend time with this child. Like, I can do this, you know, trying to express to the principal of the school that, yes, this can be done. You don't have to transfer him out to a school for people with low intelligence because that's not his case. So it's about just people taking the time to understand what a child's issues are and not just assuming they're a problem child. Chemistry comes up here and beneath that, give your relationship a chance. The home sex life, no longer getting the other drunk to have sex perhaps, um, needing help over a loss, regret or guilt of being with one and thinking of another, 
ending the conflict, no longer sitting on the fence, sharpening words, answering questions with questions to avoid a drill, no more scissors, magnet coin, and sweet treats, tweets, no more postman deliveries, accepting advances, and no more spying or lovers who don't care about you at 528, which is the Hierophant and the Two of Wands, the Twin Flames. Self-discipline comes up with number 41, and beneath that, compassion, number 99, compassion. The Queen of Pentacles frustrated with the King of Cups reversed, with secret high priestess or psychic abilities, or Pisces dropping the ball, the facade, the mask, the pattern of inequity in a relationship, healing and forgiving, perhaps those who treated them wrong. At 531, the Hierophant and the Five of Wands. The expansion, the conflict, the games begin. Perhaps in the pursuit of happiness, letting go of the conflict. Um, no more night work, perhaps. No more scamming or debt. No more unfair or where people take, take, take. Healing and forgiving them. Pisces upright here. Or Queen of Pentacles upright with two Pisces energies. Perhaps one Pisces is upright and the other one's reversed. Or one has Pisces sun and the other has Pisces in their moon or rising. Healing the shadow, suffering silence, and a marriage, religion, establishment, or tradition of the tradition of, of sitting on the fence with self-discipline and self-love, or the disciple being the disciple of oneself. So remember, self-discipline can have a negative connotation, right? That's something difficult and hard. But it's not. The word discipline literally means disciple of oneself, right? Letting your higher self have the last word and not expecting a disciple outside of yourself to be a disciple of one outside of yourself. Carrying or, or hauling a load of fireworks or hauling ass as the Ten of Wands is upright and the Page of Swords reversed with bad news for the wounded warrior still with nine wands. So they had 10 and running to try to dump that load, but then they it's like they dump 10, load, 10 wands and they still end up with nine. Like how did that happen? With little energy left, like it's never done. The queen of pentacles holding back an announcement, a judgment, a call or made a bad call or deliberating death, end, dark night, transition at the workplace and the fool is free to leap Overwork, not working, and the Page of Cups spending a bit, perhaps letting go a little. In the recent past is reflection upright, the Hermit times three, the Hermit with light resisting 5D, connection or working too hard, and needs a rest or break with the Queen of Pentacles present to surrender, and inspired by receiving information from the Hermit while shedding light on it at the same time. Or the thief is caught between the page of wands and the hermit, both upright, where there's nowhere to run. The thief is caught between them. The hierophant defenseless to defensive end, the queen of pentacles guard to the three of cups reverse negative group or third party hermit or Virgo shedding light on another hermit or Virgo or self. Taurus surrendered by, Taurus surrenders inspired by the hermit or Virgo shedding light on guilty party burdened and needing a break three virgos like three amigos or at least have a lot of virgo in their chart or taurus and two virgos going round and round as the man on the run but nowhere to hide Bo boxed in from both ends defensive ends or off sides the foundation is alchemy the patient angel dumped dumped on dumping a load purging overwhelmed with negative group or third party free from the workplace with the emperor reversed and the king of swords reversed. And that definitely could be some, you know, bad influences. Sag and Aries both upright here as well as Aries reversed. Perhaps Capricorn and Scorpio both upright too here or death transition end or dark night in a split or divide with the queen of swords reversed or she's a chronic liar and the hermit has been shedding light on that. The dark knight moving towards the high priestess so both can get over it. Scorpio and Pisces and, and or Virgo and divine feminine or the grim reaper and the secret keeper challenged by the six of swords reversed, stuck in their head with no peaceful place to go as the king of cups is reversed and sharing, being charitable or settling out and the page of swords message and not expressing their true feelings 
or news of delays and negative exchange, or one who talks too much. At 601, the lovers and the magician. The King of Pentacles upright and the King of Cups reversed could be Scorpio or Pisces and Virgo and sovereign ending pain or getting the message or in pain of a split divided or a lie in the need for the truth and the Page of Cups unable to express their feelings to apologize or, or send a message of love and defenseless to manipulate, uh, manipulative advances feeling insecure without the tools to deal or, or literally had their tools taken from them, exploding suddenly in a jealous rage or dumping a load, purging, overwhelmed, with the King of Pentacles speaking without peace all day and all night, sunrise, sunset, needing to be strong or dealing with ego death, Leo reversed, kids or Leo out of control and or pets. And now is the Empress reversed, present crowning, without open arms, defenseless without excuse, and the empress reversed needy, a failure, doing things under the radar or under the table, that could be someone who drinks, insecure, manipulative without tools of sovereign, or independent child is not expressing feelings about healing a heartbreak, depression, arrogance, and letting go to spend a bit, the empress reversed could be with Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, or Aries, and the Queen of Wands is buying new clothes and keeping quiet with female Sag, drinker or potion maker, or someone wanting to hook up with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles family, business or community. That could be a Taurus and a wealthy family, business or community. And the Queen of Wands defensive to the Empress reversed, guarding the Magician reversed, who's seeing synchronicities or having options at night to stop fighting or playing games and keep quiet between the Queen of Wands and Sagittarius, Taurus, holding tongue and the Queen of Cups with clarity or new information about the world or the sealed divine feminine or Pisces and Libra or justice, the dream family, business or community at a distance and obsessing over cords or hair or shears the sovereign suffering in silence with a message of love from the patient angel a higher, of a higher love at 615, which can be the shadow side as well. The six of the lovers, the 15 of the devil. And those are the two cards that are the same. They're just the dark and the light of it. Exposing all at night or Leo and Cancer weak, needing strength, courage, and or good health. Soon for the twins is the Ten of Pentacles family, business, or community, dealing with the Knight of Wands reversed, frustrations, and forcing their will or arrogance, dissatisfied, healing and separation, and then a sudden event, an eruption, an epiphany, with the Page of Pentacles reversed, needing help, choking on their words, needing to swallow their pride, the Page of Swords spreading the word about the Emperor reversed, which can be someone totally out of control, or perhaps with sudden heart issues or a heart attack or the emperor calling out, but no one's responding, or rescue efforts of the Knight of Wands reversed are not available at this time. Twin flames seeing themselves as the King of Pentacles upright, emotionally fulfilled, with the Knight of Cups offering love to the devil, to the Capricorn, or temptation that's waving, with the Ten of Pentacles family, business, or community, or representatives from both families, the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups, coming together. In uncomfortable energies, and one may be really uncomfortable, the other one being stubborn, Capricorn or Pisces, and Taurus hanging out, being lazy with Capricorn and perhaps a wealthy family, business or community. Playfulness, past life, relationship, and reconciliation as well as true love, this is a romance of a lifetime, all came up for the twins. Uncomfortable and stubborn, hanging out together to combine love and money or dreams and around the twin flames are how they're seen at 625, which is the lovers in the Knight of Wands, is the twin flame lovers. The lovers card upright, reaping the rewards of saving or daydreaming of how to spend or planning one big purchase or a new life altogether. In disconnect, not seeing eye to eye or at a distance, not seeing each other face to face and no peace either way. The block for the twins being the queen of pentacles, perhaps pissing away her money and the King of Wands reverse recovering practically without any options or feeling that way. Environment comes up and adventure with the Queen of Cups healing from a three-way situation and sudden events with the Sovereign obsessing day and night needing excuse me, strength to deal with the situation. 
The tower is upright with the six of cups, the two of pentacles, and the strength card reversed. Inner or outer children loving each other, juggling, performing, and needing strength, courage, and health to keep the balls up in the air with sudden event and epiphany and orgasm or drama day and night. The Divine Masculine's heart in the bat cave coming out, suffering in silence with a message of love from the patient angel of a higher love or Scorpio and Sagittarius or mother and child all watery there and the emperor reversed recovering taking steps to surrender his choices to God and higher self to the divine lovers the shadow alchemizing or Capricorn patient with the king of pentacles lovers reflecting transition or Virgo and Scorpio challenged by no peace with the ten of pentacles family business or community and the queen of pentacles with the empress reversed mother with that could be a, a mother who's passed away as well and the drama or sudden event of the divine masculine suddenly coming out with the emperor reversed or without reason to recover and take steps to surrender to lover shadow reflection or capricorn virgo healing their heart patient transitioning with the empress reversed and challenged by no peace or no peaceful place to go the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles family business or community with a sudden event with lover queen of pentacles suddenly coming out of the cave the emperor reversed to recover and to come up the stairs to surrender their choices to their divine lover hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sinners reconciled at 636 the lovers and the atlas energy of the ten of wands the weight of the world upon their shoulders let go the dark portal with capricorn sagittarius and virgo and taurus and scorpio the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles lovers with the dream family of the ten of pentacles and the sudden event between the empress reversed and the ten of pentacles family business or community with the emperor reversed coming out now able to climb the steps to surrender to their lover and that's the end of that so we have the the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the lovers and the ten of pentacles family here and the sudden event so that's the big thing coming up i'm going to pull an energy card for you to see what comes up what is the takeaway from this read today for everybody watching in the best and highest good of all these concerned what do we need to know and what do we need to learn for the twin flames today and let's clear all blocks the positive energy flow and all chakra layers auric layers and grounding and galactic cords across all dimensions of time space matter and reality for the highest good of all is concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light and so it is thank you thank you thank you okay what is our takeaway from this read today the twin flames two cards came up together adjacent possibilities and the yin yang of balance so 24 of the queen of wands and 22 of the fool and that could be you know the queen of wands seeing her other options that she doesn't have to go up or down but she can go side to side and find something new for herself without you know too much trauma there and find and still find balance with the 22 the fool taking a leap of faith and then these two want to come up together as well the 49 of the angel of love and the 15 of appreciation 15 is the devil card 49 is the get your wish card and they're very kind of like the antithesis of each other right this is that sweet innocent um, child loving themselves and then here is the shadow side right of someone who may be more judgmental but needing to show appreciation either way. Right? Seeing both sides of yourself, loving both sides of yourself, getting your wish, and then seeing the shadow perspective in the way you see it. That also can be a mother and child coming up. This could be a mother who was very harsh on an innocent child, maybe who had a learning disability and the mother didn't understand the learning disability and so she may have traumatized the child. That could be as well. And learning to appreciate the love of a child. Again, just shifting side to side, doing the dance to find the balance. 
and that can be between a mother and child or you and your own inner child of love and loving yourself just as you are. Then we have the bottom of the deck, which is someone walking away. So someone's definitely being inspired to start a new life, right? Finding their new inspiration, the 27 of the Ace of Wands and walking away. And here's the sun. So getting energized by the sun that the spring is coming up and finding new inspiration here. And there's definitely a feminine energy who's walking away. And this could be, you know, one of two children too, leaving the nest. Here's the mother and the two children. Or the mother is leaving the nest, right? can go either way. Okay. That's kind of energy. And it's all very feminine energy here. Let's just pull a Journey of Love card for you guys. And the way, and the, the Emperor and the Empress are both reversed in this read. And the Emperor reversed. It looks like he's, maybe he's staying in the basement and he's coming up. This also could be someone who had heart issues who wasn't allowed to climb the steps because of, until they were healed to a certain point. And maybe now the Emperor's healing and he's actually able to walk up the steps. That can be as well. But there's definitely a, a great affection here between a King and Queen of Pentacles and a family, but it's also two different families, whether it's the immediate family and the extended family or the in-laws coming together, like representatives of each side coming together to make peace. One being very uncomfortable emotionally and the other one being very stubborn, perhaps. And let's see what the journey of love says about all of this. And there's definitely a transition. So someone may have passed or you may have lost both parents now. That could be also be the energy here because we have the lovers at the end, right? After, after all is said and done, there you are with your lover as the only one, the yin-yang lover. There's the balance of the yin-yang twice here, the eight of the dance, and there's the feminine bending over backwards to make it work. And this is the same colors as this walking away energy, right? bending over backwards to make something work and then inspired to walk away from all this perhaps, right? To find balance, making the choice. And 62 is an eight. So we have 62, eight, but 62 is that prison of feeling imprisoned. And this is definitely someone, you know, freeing themselves from that prison. I'm getting prism as well. And then we have the dream a little, right? To get out the harsh, this is the safety and security, harsh energies, it's more red although there are a lot of pinks in this card. You know, it's bending over backwards to please someone else and then needing to make a choice to dream a little for yourself and make it more peaceful, right? This is the Shokere energy. Put the power here in your heart. And you see the circle here of the white light? There's the white light hiding there, and then here it is becoming more stabilized, more balanced again. And then gifts received. There's the 13 of the transition, right? Moving from the bending over backwards to balance, to find a more calm space to be where you naturally stay in balance more easily, not trying so hard. And then that's where your gifts are received. Okay, there's the transition, you know, releasing you from the prison. And that's the king of swords right there. very feminine energy today. And then there's coming together, the Queen of Pentacles, the 66, coming together in the heart. After the gifts are received, and this is also seeing orbs perhaps, maybe they're easier to see amongst the greenery. So like in the woods, you may, you may be able to see your abilities more clearly because of the contrast. And then here's the coming together of that, of the 66 and the Queen of Pentacles, the practical side of that transformation becoming more apparent right? The inspiration of the feminine. The bottom of the deck is her grace 17, which is the star. And this is so like indigo blue to the crown, right? Her grace. And it's interesting. Mary was coming up in the code line too. My mother who just passed away, her name is Mary Grace. And then the star. And then beneath that, the guardian of the soul family, the 26 of the page of wands, the child. And here's the two in the portal with the child, the third energy. 
the guardian of the soul family is the child, her grace. And it's like my mom sending a message of that, right? That the child is the blessing, the star of the show. And allow them to be that, right? Because there's so many children who are also abused because they're misunderstood. And it's like my mother coming through to say, you know, that she's sorry for um, any mistreatment because I was misunderstood. And that's going along the same parallel of the, you know, of parents who just don't, they get frustrated and they, they want to fix their children and they can't or they don't have the tools to fix their children. And so then they end up taking it out on their children, which happens all the time. It's not just me and my mom. It happens every day. It just happens to different extremes depending on the family and the situation. And also the background of the parent who also may have had issues with their parent. My mother very much did. Her parents were very much intellectuals. There's a lot of genius in her DNA. And so, you know, she had very little affection in her life growing up. And plus her oldest brother was a genius and they had issues, you know, raising him. So there's a lot of focus on the oldest. And so she was the baby and um, obviously, you know, didn't get that usual, you know, I'm the baby, gotta love me kind of energy. Although although she probably did get more positive energy than her two older brothers did. But still, there was probably wasn't much time or ability for her parents to give her affection. My, my grandfather I didn't really even know very well. He was a very well-loved pediatrician, and yet he was terrible with his own grandchildren, with us anyway. He didn't give us any mind at all. I actually used to steal his cigarettes when I was little just to get his attention because <laughs> he would always just be laying there on the couch smoking his pipe. So yeah, there's definitely this this energy coming up about the child and the and the misunderstanding uh, understanding of the child, and it all has to do with the inner child of the parent as well, not knowing how to to deal with the child or how to take care of the child, and it's all about that frustration. And here is that energy of the the star being the child, that third energy, right, that comes into your life, the blessing of the child, that brings you light and hope. And innocence, you know, that purity. But I have to tell you that my mother certainly knew how to live life. She had a whole lot of confidence. In her. She, it's funny, someone can be very insecure and yet have a whole lot of confidence in other ways in their life. And certainly towards the end of her life, she just, you know, she did whatever she wanted. I mean, my dad turned 80 and she didn't stay home. <laughs> she, went, she went out on safari for three weeks to enjoy herself. She just loved animals. You know, animals were always nicer than people were. You know, they don't give you any flack back. So I'm going on and on because obviously these energies need to go up or to come out because that's what's going on right now. And remember, we're at the place during the year, the timeline where it's darkest before the dawn, and you may be feeling the darkest before the dawn. So there may be some depression that comes up or some tears that are coming up, that last little bit of the dark that needs to be squeezed out, right, in order to make things clear for the spring clean, you know, the spring cleaning type of energy as we come into March 21st, and we are officially in that place of new beginnings. So there you go. You might be feeling dark right now. So just go with it and love your inner child, that it's all good. Um, just show gratitude for yourself in every day. Even when you're feeling sad, allow yourself to feel that. Send some love to the uncomfortableness inside your body and just sit with that for a bit. So I'm going to let you go now. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest. Get your joy, get your nature. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye. See you soon.